This is the real Tom Rose, and we're trying to find the minimum value of a function here. And um, the concept of minimum values in functions is really a calculus concept. And if you knew calculus, you could apply that here, and this would be a very easy problem to solve, because this is, this is exactly what calculus is designed for. The ACT doesn't directly test calculus, and this question is actually set up to be solved a different way. The way that they're expecting you to solve this is by um, plotting a function and then translating and scaling that function appropriately. So, um, for example, you might notice that this function looks pretty similar to f of x equals x squared. Um, the difference is there's a term added to the x and there's a term added overall. So if you know how to um, translate and scale functions, you can use that knowledge here to, to, figure out, to figure out this one. So let's start out with just x squared. Um, you need to just have this memorize what the function x squared looks like, and it looks like this, where this is the, uh, the horizontal axis represents x, the vertical axis represents y, um, or I guess in this case it's uh, f of x. And this is, a, this is your standard parabola, and it is the function um, x squared. So um, when x is 1, y will be 1. For example, when x is 2, y will be 4. And so on. Now, um, things you need to know, uh, the ACT will expect you to do, is that if you add a value to um, the x term, in a function, what that does is it has the effect of translating this function left and right. So let me show you in, in red what would happen if we subtract 1 from x. If you subtract 1 from x, that has the effect of moving this one space to the right. So you want to simply remember that um, you move horizontally, when you move left and right, the opposite of whatever is added or subtracted from x. For our purposes, when it says find the minimum, moving this function left and right has no effect on the minimum, right? The lowest value will still be the lowest value. What they're saying is basically read off the f of x axis for the lowest point. It's still zero. Nothing has changed there. However, another way that you can alter functions is by adding to them directly. So if you have a term that's just added to the function at the end of the day, um, the effect of that is that it moves the function up. So if you add 3, we're going to move the function up 3. So I'll draw in tick marks 2 and 3. So this will be the same function as before, except it will be moved up 3. So if you've been keeping track of the lowest point, right? it started out here at the point 0, 1. I'm sorry at the point zero, zero. And then uh, when we moved over to the, to the red function, we moved over to the point one, zero was the lowest point. And now with the green, we are at the point one, three. And you can read the lowest point right there. It's the three. Um, so make sure that you feel comfortable, um, A, with this base function, the standard parabola, and also, um, how to translate and scale functions. Here we're doing just translating. But you want to know how to scale also. You can do that with multiplication.